So, so far, is everybody on the same page? Can, we, can you do that? Is installation successful? I mean, I, I, I am, you know, deliberately giving times for, uh, for all of, to make sure that all of, all of us are on the same page. Otherwise, you know, I, I don't want people to, uh, you know, to be left behind. I think it is the most, uh, I, I think it is the most important, uh, difficult part. But once you have done that, uh, analyzing is, is really easy, okay? Okay, so any difficulties? Okay, so I assume that everyone can follow. So, okay, Tele have or, uh, asked me a question, right? Do we need to run this tree line? every time uh, we run this. No, this is the first time. So we don't need to run every time. So what we can do is we can comment, you can delete, or you can make it as a comment, okay? By putting this uh, shaft symbol, okay? But uh, let's try to, let's learn a new shortcut, okay? Because I don't want to put shaft symbol every line. So shortcut here, okay, shortcut key is uh, control plus or plus C, okay? So, you can put the cursor on the line and press control alt uh, sorry control shift c okay uh, when you put this cursor and uh, click press control shift c then r studio can automatically assign a chef symbol to the line okay let's do this again this time we will select all three line, okay? And then press Control Shift C key. Okay, it's, uh, so that means that when you have 50 lines, then you can just, you know, select all 50 lines and then press Control Shift C and then every every line in these uh, 50 lines where we commented. So basically it means that when you run, okay, you can run like this. So this is called line by line running, okay? You have to click, click, click to, to, to run every line. Or you can select everything and run it. Okay, so, so far the only, uh, the only function that works in this R script is this line. Okay. Right now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to open uh, the Amstead, Amstead guide, okay? Uh, let me open it and I will share the screen. Okay, let's open Amstack and so this is Amstack 3.2. So it is basically, uh, you can use uh, 3.2.1 uh, version and above. Okay, anyway, let's go to page. Uh, 
Excuse me, sir. Uh, yes. Uh, we were not able to install MSTAT. Uh, I'm sorry to bring up this very late, but uh, our, okay. our version is point six. Okay. Thank you very much for, for, for this one. Okay. So right now you cannot, uh, you're not able to install, right? Yes. Uh, I think I, maybe because I was thinking maybe because our R version is not that up to date. It's 3.6. No, it's, it's fine. It's, uh, you, if you have version about 3, then you can install it. Okay, so oh. one way to do is is because of the server. Okay, when you install R Studio, um, it uses different server. So one way to do okay. is is uh, okay. I, I I will do the hard uh, this one. Okay, go to two. Okay, anyone who cannot install MSTEC, uh, you should follow this. Go to two. Choose global option. Okay, sir. And then go to package. Okay. Package. And this primary CRAN repository should be Switzerland. EDH. Because I think uh, I, I think Amstad is on CRAN two days ago. So yes. maybe not all server have the same, you know, uh, packages. So okay, Switzerland works. Okay. So go. Uh, go to packages and change. Click change, and then you will see a list of CRAN mirrors. Okay, so I, I think if you don't understand this, it is fine. Just you know, you know follow the step and then choose Switzerland. Okay, Switzerland ETH Zurich. Click select it. Click OK, and then click OK. Okay, and then try to run this line again. So. When you want to remove this, this command, you just press the same shortcut key, okay? Control Shift C, I'm going to press it. So it removes, uh, it, it removes the chef symbol. So oh, okay. it is a nice little trick. Uh, okay, so can you install it now? Uh, we are very, uh, validating the crane, crane, sir. Crane repository. Okay, can you run this, uh, this line of comment? Uh, I think some problem. Okay, so can you share the screen? Uh, actually, uh, we are using our iPad for the Zoom and we are doing it in our computer, so I don't know if we can connect. So we may not be able to share it, share the screen. Oh, okay, got it. Okay, anyway, can you follow the, I mean, can you follow the step to change the current Sawa? Have you changed the current Sawa? Go to two. Yes, sir, we have changed the current Sawa. Uh, it says uh, validating current. The and it shows error, sir. In, uh, it says the given URL doesn't appear to be valid crane. So I, I'm going to run this, okay? See, should be something like this. No? Should be, should be, should appear like this, no? Do you get the same, the same, this one? Okay, uh, I'm going to it's show okay, you. Sir. You can continue. Sir. You can continue, sir. So it's okay, sir. You can continue. We don't want to waste this time. We will ask you early okay. tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow maybe. I think. <laughs> okay, that's fine. So, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to share this. Okay, I'm going to paste this in the message. Uh, so you can just you know copy paste and try to run this. Okay. So, okay. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, okay. Uh, chat and to everyone okay so copy paste this or uh, you can you can open the amstead guide and copy paste it okay anyway uh, let me share the book again okay so the book uh you can if you cannot 
if you have to install and start now, you can follow this uh, chapter two, okay? And see uh, whether you can install it or not. If not, we can discuss more. And what I want you to open is uh, go to this page, page number 10, okay? And then copy this line, okay? Because we're not going to type and it is, it, we're not going to type, okay? So we can select these two lines. Okay, copy. Anyway, I will paste in on the, you know, chat box so that you don't have to open the Amstead uh, PDF. Okay, and then let me go to R Studio. I will comment this up, okay? Pressing Control Shift C. Then I will uh, put a few more lines. And then I will paste it. Okay, base. Okay. Maybe not everyone can follow, but you know, um, can you follow this step? Yes. Okay. So basically, what it means is that we we are calling Haven package, okay, with this one. So you don't have to understand everything detail. So when you try, when you trying to, uh, when you trying to call the function, just a few times, then just use this line of command. Okay, heaven read data. So it means that we are using heaven package, and we are using read underscore dta. So basically this is on the uh, ucla website startup uh startup data management tutorial okay so this is a startup data file dot dta file okay and then what what are basically did is i download the data and read the data using this function, okay? Read underscore data. And then the function is coming from the package here, okay? And then the resulting data is put into patient, uh, into a data set called patient, okay? So, I mean, observe the screen and see uh, observe what kind of changes it it makes when I run this line of comment. Okay, so I'm going to run this and see what changes it will do to the environment. Okay. Okay. So anyway, you should have a good internet connection. Okay. Otherwise, it, it will take some time. Anyway, what do you observe? What happens to the environment? The data of patient data is loaded there. Yes, obvious, yes, obviously. Patient data is loaded there. So we have 120 OBS dot. OBS dot, OBS dot represent observation, okay? And 25 variables. So you know variable, it is the column. Observation, it is the row. We cover this on day two. So you can just click on this one, you see there is a hand uh, symbol and it will appear exactly like it, it appears in Microsoft Excel, okay? We have 150, uh, sorry, 120 rows and 25 columns. Got it, got it? So how many people can follow this? I'm on track. Okay, that's great. Only one? Me too. Two? Okay, three. Uh, one question. Yes. Uh, is there a way where, where we can uh, display the data on the full screen? Uh, with this, the data is crammed in one small corner. 
uh, you mean a visualization? You want, you want to zoom in, right? Yeah. So what you can do is you can go to the wall space, this little you know four four window pane, and go to zoom source. Okay. Is that it? it does does it answer your question? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So when you go back, when you want to go back, you just uh, click on this show or pane. Okay. I think this is a very good way to just you know uh, quickly check whether you import it in the correct way. Okay, you import it correctly because what sometimes when you try to import it, you know your data appears very weird. So, so uh, doctor, uh, this data set it's directly being um, uh, being opened from the U UCLS website. Yes. So you can follow this uh, stats IDIE UCLA education. So it is very nice, you know, start a tutorial on starter. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I am follow I am following the, the flow of that uh, that tutorial on, on this on this book, the guidebook to Anstat. It's very similar to, 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 to the tutorial written over there. But it's not one tutorial, it's not one web page, it's like uh, Five or six different uh, web pages. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm I was switched back to the PowerPoint. Okay, so there are a few themes uh, we need to discuss before we continue. Okay, so so far you have seen how to use Heaven package here, and then use to. Okay, what happened? Uh, okay, heaven package. Okay, what happened? I have a package and use read underscore DTA to import your data. Okay, so I just, you know, kind of uh, summarize the standard way of importing data. If you ask me how many ways we can import a data, I would say there are many, many ways, okay? But I found these, these function working very consistently. If you have CSV file, which is a comma separated value, which is very common when you share data, you can use read package and read underscore CSV, okay? We haven't, we, we haven't installed these two packages, okay? If you want to use, uh, if you want to try uh, to import your data, then you can you can try. Okay, install it and then, uh, like we did, Haven uh, with with the Haven package, you can use the same command line. Okay, change the function name. So it's very easy. CSV format use real package. In that package, use re underscore CSV function. For ASL, use re ASL package. The function is read underscore ASL. For starter, we have already you know done this. Uh, it is read underscore DTA. For SPSS format dot SAV format, you can use Heaven package read underscore SAV. For SAS format, uh, SAS fine format, you can use the same read underscore SAS. Okay, this is very you know uh, these are very uh, these are very common uh, story fine storage type. Uh, doctor, if I may, uh, can I? Yes, please go on. Uh, suppose I want to read the data file from the computer storage, not from directly from the link. Then you put the... I... Okay, let's... Um, let's go back to the folder. Okay, so what you can do is, there are, there are, there are two steps to do this, okay? So uh, the first thing is the standard practice. 
you create an ARA folder and a, and a, our exercise folder and name it as data, okay? And then put put the data, put your data there. Right, right. Okay? But I'm going to demonstrate it tomorrow, but just to give you an idea. And okay. then what you can do is, uh, you can try to, okay, I what I will quickly do is, I will write this patient, okay, write our CSV. What we will do is, we have patient data set and we will export. So this is export, okay, not import. Export it into this, this folder, okay? So we will say, we will use. Can I see your screen now? Uh, yeah, the, the screen again froze. It's freezing. Okay. Can you see it now? Okay, great. Okay, so what we are going now is we can, we will export patient data set into data folder. You can see the data folder here because the directory is already changed, right? You have to check the directory mm -hmm. and uh, give name it as uh, what do we give it? Okay, patient dot csv you can give any name you want okay okay so we will use write or csv function so when you type like this you can see the function name and here in calibrate bracket what you can see here is the name of the package okay mm -hmm. so this function is coming from utils package so this is base up so you can just let it so there are two arguments at least two arguments, okay? Uh, I will talk about this, what are arguments? And you have to specify X, okay? X. So to appear like that, you click on the tab key, okay? Tab key, and then tab key. And then you write the patients, okay? It is already, uh, you just use this patients data set and then the file name uh, you write file and click tab and then we need to specify where we will save our data okay so we will save so this directory is a uh, text so we have to put it with the quotation mark okay remember we install packages using a quotation mark so every uh, every text, every string, whatever you call it, okay, character, string, text, you put it in uh, within the quotation mark. So right now we are in a C directory, okay? So we can write this, okay, C, and then put colon, and then put forward slash. And then click tab. So you can choose this, right? Yes, yes. And then you can choose this. And then we and our data. There is no there is no file. So we need to give it a name. Okay. So let's say that we were name test export. Okay. <laughs> we were test the export. So that's the data submit. Okay. And that CSV. Okay, that's it. So we will run this command. Okay, select it, run it. Okay, so when you go to the data, you can see here it is test export.csv. Okay, okay, it's there. Okay, now to, to make my point is uh, patient two. Okay. What we will do is we will use uh, the read.csv function and then we will read the data set. Okay. So instead of this online, I mean web directory, what you have to specify here is you have to specify uh, this, this directory. Okay. Got it. Just select this directory. Copy this and then give it a name. 
Okay, so what this mean is uh, we will read this CSV format and put it into patients. Okay, but you can see that there is no uh, there is no initial yes. I mean here because like I said read.csv if you type read.csv it is coming from base package okay so without doing anything you can when you type the function name when if it appears then it is already loaded so you do you don't need to call the package okay like this it is already in your uh, it is already in your was uh, i mean in your base r so you don't need to load it again so trying to run this okay so it's that it's yes. there great yeah <laughs> okay this is how you you know import export you know uh fines uh, thank you very much okay so let's go back to the uh PowerPoint again. I have a few. Okay, where is my PowerPoint? So I would like to make a few points before we uh, continue. Okay, so I think uh, it's already time, right? Uh, Nine o'clock. Eight o'clock in uh, in Bhutan. So if you have anything to do, you can just leave the meeting. Okay. I I, I just want to mention a few more things very quickly. Okay. So um, in R, whatever whatever we try to do, we deal with functions. Okay. So you have to you have to know a little bit about function. You have to know its name. Okay, obviously, <laughs> you have to know the name of the function. Uh, like in our case, uh, read.csv is in the you know base R you, utils package. Uh, read underscore DTA it is in the heaven package. Uh, okay, so this is the function name. Okay, read underscore DTA or read.csv. These are the function names. Okay, function always have this round bracket, brackets. Okay, so function name, and then you type bracket. Whatever inside this bracket, we call it arguments. Okay. Uh, for, uh, if we look at read underscore DDA, how many arguments do you put? So that quotation mark, uh, everything within the quotation mark, it considered as one argument, okay? So, you know, the URL link, the website link, the data set link, it is only considered as one argument. So, there are function names, round bracket, and there, there can be many arguments, okay? But in our read underscore DDA, in our previous example, we only use one argument. And for mstat, every function, almost every function start with the data, okay? I, I will demonstrate very quickly. Um, after this. Okay, so remember this, there are function name, you have to know function name, and uh, round bracket, and within the round bracket, you have, you put arguments. So you don't have to put everything, every argument. So you just put the important one. So for Amstead, Data is important, okay? And then we will discuss more in a few more days. Okay, so let's quickly, you know, uh, go to R Studio again. Can you see? Can you see R Studio? Yes. 
this read uh, CSV, okay? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, give a comment, okay? And then run everything again, okay? So I will select a, everything, run, so that I will only have one data set. Okay, so just to give you an inspiration, uh, how, uh, how quickly you can analyze using Amstead, okay? So let's load the Amstead library. So you call the package using library function, okay? So you write library function, the uh, name of the function is library, and then you call the package. So the package is already in our, in our computer, so you don't need to put quotation, okay? So right now, you may not understand something, but remember, this is the way you have to write in R. So when you uh, load packages, then you use library, and then you mention the package name without quotes. When you install packages, you mention the package name with quotation marks. With, with, uh, so this is how you write R codes, okay? That if you want to understand more deeply, then you have to, uh, we, we can discuss more. But right now, let's run this library comment, okay? Okay, uh, if you can see this, congratulate yourself, applaud yourself. Amstad is already in your on your computer. Okay, now we have data set. Okay, we have data set. The first thing we uh, what 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 we have learned so far, we have learned the summary measure, right? We need to look at the number of observation, to the number of observation, and then some uh, some measure for either numerical or categorical variable. Okay, so first we need to know what kind of variable we have in our data set. So what we do is we check the data set using function copoc. So as you can see that copoc is from coming from Amstead. Okay, if you are if you already loaded Amstead package, it appear like this. Otherwise, when you type copoc, there is not no function copoc because Amstead is not loaded. So you choose Kobo and then choose patient, okay? So you can see that Kobo has only one argument. You put your data set, okay? Kobo data set. So when you run this command, you should see this screen, okay? So it's a very neat uh, uh, output. You have number, so you can see that there are 25 variables, okay? So name all the variables. And then if you put, I mean, if there is already label, then you can see this, okay? Uh, here, let us say the variable name is something weird. So they describe using label, okay? And then test one is called interleukin six, test two is called CRP, okay? Okay, next we go, we will go to type. Uh, doctor, I'm not able to see the code book. Sorry. Uh, you cannot see or you cannot run? Hey, uh, uh, I'm not able to run. Could, it says could not find the function code book. It means that you have it, uh, have you loaded the Amstead? Yes, it's there. Then you should be able to uh, run it. Okay. Okay, we will discuss it because uh, we ran out Time. Okay. Please okay. Uh, I, I just want to. Uh, okay. So this is how you check variable. Okay. There are twenty five variable, and then data types. Okay. These are the data type currently in your data set. It could be wrong. Okay. So you need to check. Okay. Something like this. Okay. You know WC, WBC, right? Everybody knows WBC, right? White blood cell count. And it is the should be numerical variable. Okay, if you already know, uh, it should be a number. 
but we say uh, in our data set it is character. Okay, so keep in mind that as soon uh, whatever you look, whatever you import, it, it will want to be the correct uh, data type. So you need to change it. Okay, anyway, we have 120 observations. This one, NA mean missing value. Okay, so there are no missing value in our data set. But don't be too happy. Okay, we will, we will see about that later. But what I want to do is uh, I want to quickly, you know, demonstrate descriptive statuses. Okay, first we will do for numerical data. Okay, so for this, among this 25 variable, which give me an example of a numerical data. Can, can you give me an example of the numerical data? Very obvious one. Age. Yeah, age, right? It should be age. Should be, so it is already numeric. Okay, so what function we will use? We will use sum, okay, with double M. Okay, so this is coming from M stop package. You choose it. So I've already said it. Functions in M start, start with data, okay? So you put your data set name. Our data set name is patient, okay? What do you want to summarize? Age, right? So you put age and then you click. Can you see this? So this is a summary of age variable. We have 120 observations. NA main missing value. Okay. We have no missing value. Main is 53.6. Standard deviation is 28.7. Median is this Q quarter one, quarter three. This is interquartile range. Okay. Uh, usually we gave you know two numbers. Quarter one, quartile one, first quartile, and third quartile. And then minimum, maximum. Okay, so this normality we will talk about uh, later on week two. So right now we have our summary statuses for this one, for H. Okay, what about the RBC? Okay, RBC is also a number. And what about BMI? What about test one? What about test two? These are not numerical data. So in a sense, we don't want to write you know, 10 lines to check a one by one. So we want to check multiple variable, okay? So we gave it sum and gave it data set name. And then after that, you can give as much uh, numerical variable as you want, okay? We see sex, we uh, WBC is still character, so we cannot summarize it yet, right? So we use RBC, we use test one, oh sorry, we use BMI, okay. we use test one, we use test two. We will run this. So you can see these variable are summarized one by one in one line. Okay, you don't need to run, you don't need to put five lines. Okay. Let's say, okay, you know, I'm a little bit lazy, so I want to specify H, and from RBC to test two, we can specify as a, as a range. Okay, how do we do this? We use colon, this one, separator, uh, to indicate a range of variable. Okay, so let's try this. So we will give it some patient. Okay, so H is separate, right? So we have to spend. Ah, uh, sorry. It's already time out, so it, it's drop again. I think we will solve this tomorrow. But right now, please bear, uh, I mean, please bear with me. And I think. 
Okay, I think we will, I, I will just continue talking. So I would just specify H and how do we define this? From RBC to test two, okay? So RBC and then you specify, uh, you specify colon, okay? Two dots and then you write test two. So this indicate a range of variable from RBC to test two. So let's try run this. So you can see that, you know, you can just write fewer lines, fewer words, and run the same comment. Okay, run the same output. Okay, so what do you notice? Here you have a little bit minus 99, all right? And we will talk about this later, okay? The same goes to depth. Okay, tabulate. So we will use one way tabulation, which is tab patient. The same, the same concept, okay? Uh, tabulation, uh, the function name is tab. You put your data, patient, and then what do you want to what do we want to tabulate? Okay, we will tabulate the Marida status, okay? Marida Mary. And then run it. See, so this is one way tabulation. You have zero and one. So one is one indicate Mary. So more than half are married. Okay, the same principle applies. Uh, you can, you know, uh, specify a range of uh, variable Mary to say married to cancer stage, okay? Cancer stage. And then what about the, what about remission? Okay, we will put remission. So we will tabulate, we will create a one-way tabulation of each variable from married to cancer stage and then remission. Okay, see how uh, it appears, okay? So I'm going to run this line, click run. So you can see that uh, tabulation for each variable appear, okay? So I think uh, we, we will stop today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this, uh, this R script to you and uh, you can use this or I will also make this uh, video recording available so you can, you know, rewatch it and follow the same. Okay, so I think we are going to stop now. Any questions, you, uh, uh, you put your questions to the Facebook group and I will try to answer as much as possible. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for participating in this uh, today's session. So see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you, thank very, you much. very much.